we're at the last couple of days of March and despite a winter of snow and sometimes extremely low temperatures I've managed to find enough days to get out riding in January and February and this is about my fifth or sixth ride in March so today I'm going to try and do about 15 kilometers part road part trail I've got an easterly wind behind me which is quite strong and it'll be a crosswind for most of my trip back through town on the trail but the temperature's mild I think it's plus four today which I'm grateful for when I restrict my rides to around Charlottetown this is uh, the highest elevation I reach so it really has all been uphill to here the airport a load of starlings normally I reach the roundabout up ahead here in just over 15 minutes it's actually 16 and a half minutes tells you how out of shape I've got over winter that said I did have to wait back there to cross the road because of a large truck that was stopped waiting to turn left he did wave at me though so there's my roundabout there's still a few little scraps of this nasty frozen snow hanging around and I'm hoping we've had the last of the serious snow this is a very nasty piece of road it's like riding on a washboard I can't imagine it being repaired any time soon because it's not very heavily used anyway I'm turning onto the trail up here on the left and we'll bike southwards towards Charlottetown this might be a bad idea this section is quite treed so it gets protection from the south and west sun I didn't think this much snow and ice would have stayed but the wind has probably been blowing right across that open field and deposited it here anyway I can't ride on it so I'm reduced to walking for the moment looks okay about 20 yards ahead so I should be able to get back on and I know the section down to the traffic lights and pedestrian crossing at Mount Edward Road is clear because I rode it yesterday okay here we go you can hear it's damp under the tyres I thought I'd have a crosswind. It's near enough a headwind though. Oh well, never mind. I lied. In truth, I didn't ride this yesterday, but I got a good look at it when I cycled down the new section of paved path that runs east-west along the side of the bypass, and I joined it just up ahead there so I was able to have a good look anyway there was no more snow and ice a few wet 
sticky patches, but that's all. There we go. So I'm heading to the traffic lights here where I'll cross. Uh, and uh, and then I'll cross over and take the trail behind the new apartment building being built and behind the university. It's interesting to see that there's uh, a whole lot of cars at the Toyota dealership. Their parking lot's been uh, almost empty for the last two years. Don't live on an island. It's always windy. And if you have to, don't pick one that gets a lot of snow. I know from previous rides that you can't get out through the large parking lot down there anymore. It's been fenced in. In fact, you can see the fencing in the distance there. And bollards at the end of this road. Uh, stopping cars from going any further. This is all because this road used to be a rat run for commuters. Uh, instead of a nice quiet residential street so I find though that I can come down it on my bike you see I used to enter over there somewhere fly across this parking lot what's the betting this is going to be built on Right, I can rejoin the Riverside Drive bike path at the bottom of this road where the traffic lights are. There's nothing coming, I'm gonna scoot across here. And there we are on the paved bike path. Looks like the wind's changed direction. I thought it had. That windsock is showing me it's from the west behind me. Well, I don't mind. That's my longest ride of the year so far. Just over 18 kilometers, just over an hour. Pretty chilly and very windy.